Hey everybody, Watch This Review here with a retro view on some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures. Although I don't know how retro they are, because I assume a lot of these are probably the repacks, although they basically use the original figures in there. I uh, picked this up mostly for the Bebop and the Rocksteady, but got a whole bunch of others, you know. A lot of people may buy their figures individually, but I get mine by the pound, haha. <laughs> Um, got it for six fifty at a thrift shop. I mean, obviously, a lot of these will probably be heavily played with, and that means I'm going to break out the disinfectant. In fact, I'm going to probably give all these figures a good wash before I display them or do anything else. You know, little kids probably drool over these things and stuff. Nothing against kids, though, because, you know, toys are kind of a kid's thing, and back then these toys were more oriented towards kids, but... I'm trying to live my childhood a little here, so let's pop this open. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to open this up, show us one figure at a time, and let's see if I got a good deal or not. Although I kind of assume I did, just because the retro line of the figures were over 10 new, and, you know, got a few of those. Uh, first here is a Casey Jones. I believe this is from one of the newer series. Yep. Here we go. My man, Bebop. Love Bebop and Rocksteady, especially in the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game, which I absolutely loved as a kid. We have a Splinter, without his robe or anything. Originally came with a cloth robe, I believe, in addition to some accessories, but probably not going to get any accessories when he's. Um, face morphing Foot Ninja from one of the newer series. Don't really care about him. Up uh, here he is, Shredder. Again, no accessories or even the original cloth robe. Look at that squat. That is not a pleasant sight. And here we have... I don't even know his name anymore. I vaguely remember him, though. He's a Teenage Mutant Turtle. Yeah, here it is. He's got the Turtles logo and stuff, and... He was one of the old releases from 1989, so... Plus he was a repack, and they just left the old one here. Here we have another Shredder. This one's pretty nice. I'm gonna probably save this one. I figure I might throw one or two of these out if they're in kind of really bad condition, but... This one, definitely saving. I didn't really watch the uh, new series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles much, but... I mean, it was kind of cool. Here we have a Foot Ninja. Again, no accessories or anything. I mean, look at that squat, too. They did so many stupid things with figures back then. He actually would make a pretty cool Scarecrow custom, though. See it a little? Just toss a hat on him, repaint him, look balling. Of course, I'll probably leave him as a foot ninja. Here we have a Raphael without his sash. It's okay. It looks like one of the newer things, not the originals. Unless, yeah, it's 2002. It's a newer one. See, so the originals were a lot plainer than that. Uh, this looks like they got it from the Happy Meal, but it's a Leonardo. Probably a tie-in for the movie. Not a great movie. Here we have a Donatello and some riding gear. Eh, don't really care for it. Don't have another Donatello in there. I'm going to probably save him, though. Another shredder. This one's really crappy. Look at that. I have no clue what this would be released for or why, but... I mean, it's only got arm articulation. It looks like it probably is a gimmick of some sort. He's got a cape that moves up, the moving legs. Kind of chintzy. Looks like it's from the more recent TV show. And here we have a Leonardo in skydiving outfit. With one sword attached to the back. I think I just dropped the other one, but... I mean, it looks pretty decent. He's got finger articulation, which is a plus. Next up is another kind of chintzy Raphael. Uh, again, looks like more like a McDonald's toy than anything else. Hey, an original Michelangelo, minus the sash. Michelangelo is one of my favorite turtles as a kid, like Tim and Donnie the best. Um, again, I really hate the fact that he's missing the sash because it half makes the figure, but. You know, people have it torn off occasionally. A newer April O'Neil with heavy damage. 
always liked April O'Neil. I did like the new look to the character, but it's a bit of a shame that she has all these paint scrapes. We'll probably save this no matter what, though. The generic villain. He looks very retro. I'm not sure if he was from the original line or the remade line. Let's see. You can't see that there. Yep, he's from 1990. Half decent. I don't know his name. If you know his name, feel free to contribute. Then we have a original Donatello. <laughs> Again, missing the sash, all accessories, and it looks like his uh, mask doesn't look quite right. I mean, the headband. I don't know, maybe it is. I thought just Matt thought the old sashes went a lot longer than that. I don't know. It probably is right, actually. I don't know, I'm kind of spazzing. Oop, dropped an accessory. But here we have a Casey Jones, looks like the original version. Pretty decent. Let's see what I dropped. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, looks like a Casey Jones accessory. If all the characters actually include something for, they give me something for Casey Jones. Crap. And finally we have, oh fuck, man. A rock steady missing a hand. I hope to God they have the other hand in there, because that would be a serious bummer. And we have the katana for Leonardo. Uh, all in all, this, besides the Rocksteady missing the hand, kind of a good haul. This is really depressing, though, because Rocksteady is like one of the biggest reasons I got this pack, and then no hand. I don't know. I'll just have to fish around. Maybe, I mean, I doubt it probably is in there, but... Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. But I did get my Bebop. I got my Rock Steady. I got a whole mess of other ones, including some of the original Turtles, so can't complain. Wish I had accessories for them, but nah. Yeah. For $6.50 for about, what was that, like 20 figures? Not a very bad deal, if I do say so myself. Uh, definitely like the April O'Neil, even though it has no articulation. This forearm shredder is totally kick ass. And then, of course, just the whole Bebop and Rocksteady are the big pieces I got this for. But until next time, folks, let me know what you think. Did I get a bargain or what?